Dr. Wendy Ross, and I am the director of Jefferson Center for Autism and Neurodiversity. This video will give you a short glimpse into the flower show to help you get ready. First of all, before you go to the flower show, you're gonna wanna plan ahead. If you bring a bag, it should be no bigger than 16 by 16 by eight inches. You wanna make sure that you pack your ticket, sunscreen if it's sunny, a rain poncho if it's gonna be rainy, a water bottle to stay hydrated, and a hat to keep it cool. Noise reduction headphones can help you if it's too loud, and sunglasses can help you if the sun is too bright. You wanna be comfortable at the flower show. It's helpful to have hand sanitizer, but there will also be hand sanitizer stations at the flower show. And of course, don't forget your ticket. Because of COVID this year, the flower show will be outside and tickets can only be bought in advance for a specific time or session. You can enter within 30 minutes before the end of your session time on the ticket. When you come in, you can stay as long as you want. You might want to schedule your visit early in the day or towards the end of the day when it is probably going to be less crowded. No food or drinks from outside are allowed in, so you might want to eat before you go or bring enough money to buy food or snacks at the flower show. The food at the flower show can be a little bit expensive, even though it's delicious. So if you don't bring enough money, you can use a credit card or get money from the cash machine. If you buy food to eat at the flower show, you're gonna wanna dispose of your waste in the best way possible to protect the environment. There are so many ways to get to the flower show. If you take a car to the flower show, you're gonna park across the street and walk over. This is a busy street and the parking lot is really big. So stay with your group and that will help you prevent you from getting lost. If you do get separated from your group, you can ask a friendly security or staff person for help. Other helpful places to know about at the flower show include a first aid station, information areas, and the outdoor bathrooms, which are in really cool trailers. The rules about COVID keep changing. Right now, because the event is outside, face masks will not be required if you are vaccinated. You might wanna have a face mask with you in case you stop anywhere before or after the flower show. And of course, you can always wear a face mask if you feel safer. When you get to the entrance, you're gonna have your ticket scanned. Once you leave the flower show, they may not let you return. So you really wanna check before leaving. If you brought a bag, the bag may also be searched. Bags can also not be left by themselves. This helps everyone feel safe. When you walk inside, someone might also hand you a map and a guide to the flower show. It will also have a schedule of events. If someone in your group gets tired of walking, they can rent a wheelchair. And if somebody brings a service dog, there are places where the dogs can go to the bathroom. If you get tired or feel overwhelmed from the sounds or the sun or even the smell of the flowers, you can ask for a quiet place to take a break. If you get anxious, a fidget might help you calm down. It's important to stay calm. If you get disruptive, you might be asked to leave. This is because everyone wants to enjoy the flower show and stay safe. Taking some deep breaths can also help if you're feeling worried. The flower show has so many areas to see. There are exhibits of flowers and landscapes of all sizes. There are also places to shop for gardening supplies and other items. Some people at the flower show are selling food. They might offer you a sample, but before trying a new food, you should make sure that there's nothing in it that you're allergic to. Subaru also has an exhibit at the flower show. You can see their cars and even sit in them. The flower show has some other spaces where you can see or do things. They may cost extra. There may also be lines to get into them. In the butterfly room, for example, you can go to the butterfly exhibit and feed the butterflies. You can get a ticket and then wait in line to go in. Your ticket will be scanned. You will have to walk through a few curtains that are made of chains to enter the butterfly room. The chain curtains may make a noise when you walk through them. The chains and nets around the rooms help keep the butterflies safe inside. You may also see butterflies on the plants flying around or on the ground. It's important not to step on the butterflies. Touching the butterflies can hurt them. You can dip a Q-tip into nectar and feed the butterflies with it. If you're not sure how to feed them, you can just ask for help. You should check before you leave the butterfly room to make sure that no butterflies have climbed into your pockets or on your clothing. And if you're not sure, ask somebody for help. 
We hope this video will make your visit to the flower show an enjoyable experience filled with fun and excitement. We are really excited to go to the flower show too, and we hope to see you there.